All right, so welcome back. In this video, uh, I'm going to put OpenBTS uh, by Pentertz here onto the uh, Steam Deck. And I've actually not done this before on this uh, piece of equipment, but it should be perfectly fine. This uh, Steam Deck has the uh, latest Dragon OS on it. And a couple things uh, I'll point out. Uh, when, you, when you get this set up, on the uh, on the Steam Deck, one thing you want to do is install um, probably <coughs> GDM3, and <coughs> and so the reason for that is when you log in uh, by default or when you boot up the Steam Deck with Dragon OS Focal X, you'll have the uh, SDDM uh, uh, manager and uh, and the screen rotation just isn't right. So with GDM3 and you replace that SDDM, you'll have good screen rotation and you'll also have uh, a really nice on-screen on -screen keyboard <coughs> on-screen keyboard that you can uh, turn on in the options. And then what you want to do is, is in the bottom right hand corner when you go to uh, log in Right before you log in, you can go to the bottom right hand corner and change that back to the, uh, I think it's, you change it back to the Lubuntu uh, desktop. That way, when you log in, you'll have the familiar uh, background and, and orientation and everything else. So just remember that, that's one thing. Uh, so when you reboot this or re you were to uh, log out, uh, restart, um, well, just basically reboot, and then uh, you'll see what I mean. The other thing, too, is, uh, uh, which I won't really cover in here uh, right now, is uh, I have installed the 6.1 or preferably higher uh, kernel for 22.04. Um, there's a script that can help do that. That way, uh, I at least have audio coming out of the audio jack now. Okay. So those are just two things I wanted to point out. So to do this open BTS, um, there is the master branch and then there's a 5.1 um, branch that's uh, marked as stable right now, which is probably what I tested on my laptop the other day. But I'm just going to go ahead and we'll just do this together. Probably what I'll do is I'll just have this built into Dragon OS. But if we get clone that out and we change into our open BTS uh, directory, there's a that pre-install script there that the uh, developer put in here. And so we'll just run it. Actually, if you want to take a look at it, uh, you can see it's going to install some stuff. Some stuff's already in uh, Dragon, uh, like I know for sure that's already in there. Most of these uh, dependencies are in there. It will install the libcore dumper uh, subscriber registry, uh, lib53 in the SMS queue, and yeah, and so we just take note of the processes after the pre-install. But anyway, so sudo dot forward slash pre-install let it do its thing You'll see like an error, but it'll continue on, and it explains that on the uh, on the page. And by the end of this, we're going to actually run the Lime SDR uh, instead of a. Uh, a USRP or an Edis 
device. <clears throat> it's actually the Lime SDR Mini, um, the original, the original one. But the way I've built Dragon OS, you should be able to use the new upcoming Mini version two. Alright, so we're finished with the uh, pre-install and then you can see the remaining steps. And we will configure it with UHD. do this make I actually don't know how many cores the uh, Steam Deck has off the top of my head but it's fine alright I'm back <coughs> that's done do a sudo make install sudo ld config and so if we look in open BTS we should have what we need there what I'm going to do though because this is probably how I'm going to have it pre-installed in Dragon OS but I'm going to move this open BTS to kind of where I stick everything else in uh, user source the other thing we want to check is the uh, this directory here and so the this these .sql files have some example um, settings uh, set in there that can be um, let's see I'm just looking here zip off interesting not to come back to that but all right so let's see user source open BTS a couple notes I put here to myself so we should be so in Dragon OS I have a couple of these Osmo TRX config files um, this one in particular is fine a lot of these flags probably aren't needed but <clears throat> it's 
Sorry about the resolution. I should have plugged the Steam Deck into something else here. Let's see. So we're going to start up the Lime SDR. Okay. It's fine. Ah, shoot. Another thing we want to do is sudo app. CR CPY. SCR CPY. Let's see if this is it. Okay, so I'm going to plug an Android phone in. phone we have the line ready got all these windows we'll do sudo sm sip the sip auth server sudo sms smq and something else I'm going to do is I'm going to remove open BTS I don't need to start up and we'll do sudo sudo service r syslog restart so we don't have to reboot and then that way you should uh, get logs in the var log directory so last but not least we do sudo uh, let's see change into that user source open bts we do sudo forward slash open bts we look at this back area here we'll see the interaction with the line and so now we're good you can type right here but let's just open another window <laughs> directory user source Open ah, open BTS. And we do sudo open BTS CLI. You can see all the commands. Uh, let's see. I wrote some notes. Uh, you you can do total open registration, but uh, just like this. But I'm going to change that to to this for the, uh, basically, that's the prefix on the MZ I know is in here. So, change it from nothing to, to that. And let me think. So at this point, I should be able to uh, go over here and turn off airplane. Give it a second. We see that it is connecting. Welcome to the test network. So that is now working. And let me think. So, all right, so that's working. So now if I do a send SMS, all right, so if I uh, pulled open that message and if I say send SMS to I can check the logs and find what's connected seven or should be probably extension 101 
this out. And there we go. So that's pretty much just getting started. I know I had a lot of windows open and whatnot, uh, but um, goal is just having this included in Dragon OS. Uh, and then if you want to rebuild it and keep up to date with uh, changes that the developers making at least you'll um, see how to how to do that um, but yeah there you go I mean that's pretty cool that's taking something you know open BTS uh, bringing it up to you know work in 2023 and there you go it's pretty exciting there's a lot of other stuff obviously that you can you can do and set and asterix is already installed in dragon os and you could tie that in and all kind of stuff so all right hope that helps